Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Gastec 2022. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me Osama Mubarez, Secretary General of EMGF. Um, thank you so much for taking the time out of uh, day two of Gastec to come and speak to me. Thank you, Julian. It's my pleasure to be with you. And nice to meet you in person, because <laughs> during our previous Zoom interview, um, you mentioned how EMGF can you know, enable energy security for the Eastern Mediterranean countries. So now as the world searches for gas supplies, how can the East Mediterranean region offer energy security on maybe a more broader level? And um, has this increased the strategic importance of the East Mediterranean Gas Forum in your view? Thank you, Julian. So I think what's happening here is really tragic, the challenges that yeah. the world is facing, especially with what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. But as you said, this puts more importance on regions like the East Mediterranean and how can they provide more supplies, alternative supplies to the EU. And this is actually one of our main objectives at the EMGF, because our main objective is how can we monetize and develop the gas resources within the mm -hmm. region, accelerate their production, and how can we provide a reliable and clean source of energy to the EU. And this is what we're working on. Brilliant. And I know in June you signed a trilateral MOU um, between the EU, Egypt and Israel helping foster greater cooperation in terms of gas and energy transition. Um, tell us more about that and the importance you think that is. Yes, I think this is a very important milestone, yeah. not just for the EMGF, but also for the, for the region and for Europe. The trilateral MOU was signed on the sidelines of the EMGF ministerial meeting okay. that took place in Cairo. And the signing was attended by President von der Leyen, which puts a, a lot of importance on this MOU and the main objective of the MOU, how can we accelerate the development of the gas resources and how can we accelerate the supply to Europe? Already some supplies are coming from Israel, from Egypt and uh, exported to Europe, but there are a lot of other projects that are ongoing. How can we accelerate them? And the good thing is that the three ministers, the Minister Al Mullah of Egypt, Minister Al Harar of Israel and also uh, Commissioner Simpson of EU have agreed that they assigned the EMGF to be the secretariat of the implementation of this, of this MOU. So that's why we are coordinating with the different stakeholders yep. to action the implementation of this. Wow, that's really good to hear, Sam. And then now we're, we're already in September and you know we're nearing COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. Um, and I want to hear more about, you know, there's a decarbonisation day um, and what outcomes are you looking to achieve from this day? So energy transition and decarbonisation is one of the strategic objectives that we have at the MGF. And we have, in, during the ministerial meeting in uh, last June, the ministers approved the long-term strategy. Okay. And we have seven strategic objectives. One of them is definitely climate action and environment. And we are working on an initiative for the decarbonization of the gas industry within the region with the aim to launch this initiative during COP27. Okay. And what we really believe is that it's not either or. We, we, we cannot work for energy security alone or energy, or energy transition alone. What we're trying to do is to align between the two objectives, how can we achieve them together? And the decarbonization initiative that we're working on, we're working in collaboration with the governments of okay. the EMGF, government of the observer like US, uh, EU, and also with the industry through the DIAC that we have in the uh, EMGF. Well, we'll look forward to it. It's going to be you know, very interesting. Now, gas remains of immense importance to Egypt as a clean energy fuel of choice. Um, in your opinion, what role will natural gas play globally on, on the road to net zero? So I think, as, as my previous response, that we need to align between the energy security and the energy transition. And I think gas is going to play and is playing a significant role in this regard. Gas is already a clean fuel. What we are aiming for is how can we make gas cleaner? The technology is there. We might need more investments, and what we're trying to do is to do the infrastructure that we're doing mm -hmm. to be hydrogen ready, so that it okay. is serving the gas, and at the same time would be ready 
for the next stages of the energy transition. Okay. And um, yesterday, in the first day of GASTEC, uh, EMGF hosted a, a second edition of your series of strategic leadership roundtables, with the first one in June in Cairo. Can you tell us a bit more about the importance of these roundtables and maybe some of the outcomes or how it went? So I think these roundtables are very important and one of the importance of these roundtables is that you're bringing a lot of stakeholders together. You're bringing the government officials, bringing the industry, different parts of the industry, whether IOCs, NOCs, uh, EPC service companies, technology providers. And the good thing about these uh, roundtables, whether the one in, in back in Cairo or uh, the one here in Gastec yesterday, it provides an, a platform for a very open and uh, transparent dialogue, which is one of the main objectives of right. our uh, EMGF. So it, it was very open. And the good thing is that there is a, there, there is a lot of alignment. Yes, there might be different perspectives, but the alignment is there, which is very important. Yeah, very much so. And uh, obviously, as we said, COP in November. Um, and then next February, Egypt will once again be hosting now the sixth annual edition of the Egyptian Petroleum Show, which again will be a great opportunity to continue the conversation um, about oil and gas and transition roadmap set in Sharm el-Sheikh and maybe see what actions or deliverables is, is a couple of months afterwards. Yes, definitely. I think Egypt is going to be maybe one of the, the, the first big event after COP27. And one of the main focus that is put there is what's the way forward? What, what, yeah. What's after COP? Because for me and for, for a lot of people, COP is not the end. It is just the start of what we agree together and how can we action it and how can we implement it? Great. And obviously, EMGF are an official strategic partner of Egypt's. But um, what else are you looking forward to as well for the show in February next year? So I think taking the, the, the steps forward after COP27, energy transition, and also aligning between energy security and energy uh, uh, transition. And I think focus also on technologies and funding of the different projects and the infrastructure projects that we're trying to, to achieve. Great, well, really great to hear. And just like to thank you, Zama, for popping down to our Energy Next studio. Um, appreciate thank you. It. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Julian.